Hi everyone, I'm the Tax Pro, and today we are going to talk about doing an estimate in QuickBooks Online. So an estimate is going to be something that you're going to send a customer or a potential customer, letting them know how much you're going to charge them for something. An estimate could also be called a quote, um, but we're not actually charging that customer yet, right? We're just going to send them something saying, hey, if you want this service or if you want to purchase this particular product, this is the cost. So I'm on the dashboard here and the best way, in my opinion, to navigate to the estimate is to click this plus new button and then go to estimate. You could also navigate into the sales area and then go to the estimates section right here. Um, you could also go into a specific customer and then you could um, come here and create an estimate. Again, I think the easiest way is to click the plus new and then estimate button just because you can do that from wherever you are within QuickBooks Online. So here you're going to select a customer. If you need to add a new customer, you can. You can put their email in here. That's going to allow you to send that customer the estimate. Then you're going to select the estimate date. And then you can put in an expiration date. So let's say that I am going to give this customer a week to determine if they want to accept this estimate or this quote, or if they want to go elsewhere. Maybe I have something that is price sensitive. So I'm going to give them an estimate for a product that next week may be a different price, right? So you can put an expiration date in. You don't have to have an expiration date for your quote. I think it's best practice to go ahead and put something in there um, because you don't want them to come back a year later assuming that you're going to give them the same price. Um, then you can come down here and you can select um, a product or a service. I'm just going to put hours and let's say that I am quoting Lisa here at the Unlimited Company. I'm going to quote her hours for a contractor to um, revamp their internal processes, okay? Um, and I am going to quote them, I think it's probably gonna be about 23 hours. We're gonna charge $150 an hour. So I am going to quote Lisa $3,450 here to have a contractor come in, take a look at their internal processes and redo it. Um, you can go ahead and put a message here on the estimate if you want. Um, this is going to be a message that's displayed on a statement. I'll show you how to generate statements in a later video, um, but this won't send. So if you were to put a message here, this is not going to actually send with the, with the estimate itself. Okay, so this would be if you were to create this estimate, turn it into an invoice later down the road, um, this is going to be a description for that particular invoice on a statement, okay? Um, you could attach some files here um, if you wanted to do that. Perhaps you have some, you know, evaluations that you've done of their current internal processes, something like that you want to attach here. You could go ahead and do that. Um, and then you can save and send. So if I had Lisa's email here, I could go ahead and just immediately send this particular estimate to Lisa. Um, I'm going to save and close. And then I now have an estimate sitting in here. You can see that it is pending. Um, from here, I can edit the estimate. I can send the estimate. I can also go through and do things like convert the estimate to an invoice, which I'll show you how to do in a later video. So that's how you create an estimate or a quote within QuickBooks Online. I'll see you guys next time.